Good afternoon, everyone. Um, following our review of the Idle Vice Wheat Beer 4.9% ABV yesterday, thank you for all the views. Very successful, wasn't it? It was, thank you. One of our most successful ones for a long time. Um, so today we're just going to, just for argument's sake, as you know, yeah. your standard one, your 5.3, is pretty much the same in a bottle as it is your blade. So just for argument's sake, I'm just going to pour one of these. We've had a few people ask for a comparison of the two, so to give them a fair chance and really see what the differences are. Try them side by side, it's probably the best way to do it. You can do the bottle. I can do the bottle, yeah. And also have some it. Well, we'll try not to. That's why I took the tray out <laughs> for this one. Gives you more room, doesn't yeah. it? Always move your tray if you can, people. But that's your 4.9% one, which is, if you watched the video yesterday, we were really impressed weren't we? Yeah. Right, I'll go jump in on it and uh, it's noisy isn't it that? Yeah. Right, right. jump in on So remember I've got this side. Yeah, okay. The 4.9. Oh, look at yeah, the sediment. That's what I was trying to get it Ooh. all in there. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, so they've seen the bottle for this. Ah, okay. They look pretty identical. I thought that the blade one would be lighter in colour. Yeah. I don't know why, I just something I read up, I thought that might be the case. It's not. They are, I know you can't see them that clearly on I'm the... going to bring them out. Yeah, well, yeah, I showed him that one already. All right, so there's the other one. As you can see, it is very similar looking. So. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal, unreal. Now, my philosophy before I try this is that this one is more banana-y. This one being the... Yeah, the wheat bit. The wheat bit is more banana -y than this one being the... Pepper Lilla. The idol wise, Pepe's, Chunk. Pepe Chunk. Chunk. I don't know. My <laughs> pronunciation is not good, people. I'm not that bright. I think you know that by now. Anyway, right. So, the best way, because we drank this yesterday, unfortunately, quite a lot of it. <laughs> it's very Moorish. It really does taste the bananas. Straight off. First sip. I haven't touched a bit today. And that is really banana, isn't it? Tell me I'm, I'm just getting bananas and it's really nice. Yeah. Got that banana bubble gum taste. Yeah. Finishing off with a slight spice, a very slight spiciness, but there is that kind of mineral cleanness to it as well. Yeah. It could well be that this mountain mineral water is true. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, someone put a valid point on the post yesterday, didn't he? And thanks for that. It's, not bananas in it sometimes. Yeah, it's not made with bananas. It, it's due to the brewing process. Due to the brewing process, making it taste the bananas. And thank you for that comment. I can't remember who it was, but yeah, yeah that was much a very appreciated. Good comment, yeah. And it did make me think mm. because I expected it because I read the beer wolf review, as I said in the video yesterday. We expected it to be so different to what it was. It's misleading. That. Yeah, but it is the spices thing. It makes you think it's heavily spiced. It isn't. Ooh, this is hard. This is harder. There's not a lot in the aromas, is there? Really? No, I'm not going on the aromas, probably. Carbonation's pretty similar. This is tricky. This, I'm, I'd like to hear what you've got to say. Guys. This hasn't got that sweetness that hits you almost sort of straight away. This hasn't got that. It's a little bit more creamy. A little bit, yeah. Um, I'm actually getting more spiciness, more clovey taste from this. But there's not that much in it, not as much as what we thought. No, no. Which is quite surprising, because when I tried this, because of the, the real banana taste in it, and it, mm. this always was tasting the bananas. They are different, definitely. You can tell they're different. Could you blind test them? Yeah, I would say you could. Yeah, you'd be able to tell the difference. Oh, 
Yeah. That's got a better aftertaste. That's got a better aftertaste. Ooh. It has. Ooh. That's what I'm going on. Shit, sugar. <laughs> it definitely has. It's cleaner. It's yeah. crisper. Yeah. Um, I hate to say this. Cause... It's more flavoursome during the middle part of the drink. You are getting that, for me, it tastes slightly bubblegummy. You're saying it's very much banana -y. But it is that real nice sweetness that you are getting on your palate that mixes well with the clean and fresh aftertaste. Whereas with this one, and I've read up notes on it and it says about crisp apples. Mm, maybe a little bit yeah, of that really. there. But this is much more spicy bitterness on the end, isn't it? All the way through. It, yeah. It, it I mean, it is isn't more powerful, as crisp and clean. I hate to say it, but... There's enough noticeable difference, although yeah. they are very similar, obviously. They are similar drinks, similar style of drinks, but for me, the flavours in this one work better. Overall, they work better. This is absolutely lovely. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they can see the dial. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we've got a bit... Of... Yeah, I don't know whether you can see it from there, but yeah. Well, I got a bit carried away with it <laughs> rather last night. It was, mm -hmm. it was me for once, and I admit for once, <laughs> it was me. Hence the singing last night, so on. But yeah, shit, shit. Um, it's it, yeah, it's a little bit heavier on the aftertaste, and it's a bit more clingy. It's not as yeah. Some refreshing. people, yeah, but and this is our opinion. Remember, some people would prefer this one. But I'll tell you what, that surprised me last night. And then some of the times you think, oh, is it in my head because mm. I got the buzz of getting. It was like getting my own way yesterday on the blade, getting what I wanted, yeah. being a, a Vizen, and I you know loads of people wanted Strongbow and everything, which I said yesterday. And it was such a buzz um, last week when I knew this was coming out, and it was like, oh, yes. Yeah, so excited to try it. So, you know, um, the simple brain gets a bit carried away, but I never thought, putting it up together, that would be anywhere near as good as that. And I have yeah, to I say. Yeah, I didn't think this one was going to be better. I absolutely love this beer. But compared mm. to that, it is, it's a horrible aftertaste when you mix to that, after that. This is a much cleaner, crisper, fresher aftertaste. That is more, it's more heavy on is it the cloves or spices and there's a, a, a little bit of bitterness there that kind of lingers. Whereas you don't have it with this one. No, I must get a picture. Oh, it's, um, that's quite surprising, isn't it? This was not this was not, not how we planned this one to go. <laughs> to be honest, but the whole point about it is being honest. Right, and that, as we know, we've done the bottle versus the keg, mm -hmm. and there's not a lot in it. There wasn't a lot in it. It was right? very close, wasn't it? I mean, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a dodgy bottle, <laughs> but uh, I don't think so. No, well, it is. Isn't it? it definitely isn't. Come right, on, they're just trying um, to take. Yeah, um, this one goes up higher in my estimations now. Look, you know I did my top 30 uh, Vison beers. I know this was floating around number 10. So I kind of got a bit of a problem here, haven't I? Well, just for me, that slightly more fruity, banana -y taste, um, the crisp, clean finish of this, this wheat beer. Yeah, it's, it's Edelweiss. Edelweiss, it's right. very good, very, very good. I mean, and I really do enjoy that. This is still a good drink. Oh, it's an this excellent drink. You can't for me. It's just when you put them up together. Mm -hmm. If you taste this on its own, any time of the week, I loved it. I was drinking it Saturday night. Yeah. Ended up rather abbreviated, mm -hmm. should we say. <laughs> Inebriated, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, um, wow. That, um, well, That's there you go. That's quite surprising. I didn't expect that outcome at all. I can't, I could never have predicted this. I just wanted to prove the, the point that, as I say, we said we would yesterday that there was differences. Not yes. that much it, different, it but they're both there is, wheat beer. There is a difference yeah. where you There's could, a main difference. You know, if you were blindfolded, you could taste the difference, definitely. Yeah, and we didn't need to, it's obvious. Yeah. And this is better. And I really expected it to be this one because it's got that slightly higher um, percentage of alcohol. So, no, no, stand no. correct. Not good. Right, what can we say? Thanks for watching. By the, by most of the, the time we were saying all this anyway, they've gone. Go on, yeah. I read by YouTube stats, people. <laughs> you get bored of us, you don't watch too many. Oh, I read the YouTube stats, it's quite interesting. 
No, I've got, come on, I've said all that and no one's heard anything. Oh, never mind. Right, like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you haven't tried this yet, seriously. It's really worth giving it a go. It really is I'm very, just, very nice. Yeah, the reliterate what I said yesterday. It's well worth it. Trust me. Right, <laughs> on to your pickle. Bye.